In this video, we will provide the solution to question seven from Praxis Exam 1 for Math 2270. In this question, we're asked to perform the following row operations to the given matrix. We are first asked to replace row one with row one minus three times row two. And then subsequently, we're asked to replace row one with row one plus two row three. So we have to do this in basically two steps. We're gonna take row one and subtract from it three times row two. So taking the matrix from below, we're gonna take minus 18, negative three times six, uh, we're gonna get plus six, plus zero, I'm just gonna skip that one, minus 24, and then plus three right here. So we need to then write our matrix uh, as we have it simplified. I'm gonna do this to the, to the right right here. Uh, now notice that only the first row is going to change. Everything else will stay the same necessarily. Just copying the matrix down. And so for the first row, you're gonna get one minus 18, which is negative 17. You're gonna get three plus six, which is a nine. You're gonna get, well, negative four, because you add zero to it. You're gonna get two minus 24, which is a negative 22. And then lastly, you're gonna get zero plus three, which is a three. So that takes care of the first, the first operation. I'm gonna slash that out because we've done it now. Now the next thing is we have to take, we're gonna to have to take row one and replace it with row one plus two times row three. Uh, whoops. So let me kind of record that down over here. We're gonna take our current row one and we're going to add to it two times row three. Now, one thing I wanna mention right here is that because of this, we didn't change the second row, the third row, the fourth row whatsoever. So in terms of the possibilities here, I'm gonna be looking for things that have the correct second row, that, that six, negative two, uh, zero, eight, and negative one, because that by itself kind of helps me out a lot. Notice that matrix A does not have row two. Matrix B does, matrix C does, matrix D does, matrix E does not, and matrix F does not. Um, if you look at the other ones, I need to have matrix, I have to have the row, row three needs to be the same, so that should be zero, six, four, two, one. Uh, and so which of these ones has it? So C has the correct row three, B does not, neither does D. So honestly, by what I've done already, I already know that choice C is gonna be the correct one without even finishing this one. Uh, I would also have to check that row four would have to be the same, which it is. Uh, and so then just for the sake of calculation though, let's actually complete this thing, right? If we did that, we take two times row three, we're gonna get a zero right here, plus 12. Uh, we're gonna then get a plus eight, we're gonna get a plus four and then a plus two. So notice that negative 17 plus zero is a negative 17, just like an option C there. We're gonna get 12 plus nine, which is 21. We're gonna get eight minus four, which is four. We're gonna get negative 22 plus four, which is negative 18. And then we get three plus two, which is five. So this is correct. If we did follow through with the arithmetic, this would be correct. But honestly, by process of elimination, we were able to figure out that choice C was the correct one anyways. So either do the row operations or kind of like we did here, you could use row, you could use process elimination to help you. Notice it's not Gaussian elimination, but you can use this process of elimination to help you uh, identify what the correct answer is. That always is a true thing for multiple choice answers.